about him? <laughs> that was, is really funny. It was awful. Oh, I was like, no. I right. just ratted myself out. Well, settle in. we got to get a little food and, and do some things. And uh, we'll continue with Bob Kelly. And Francine is here. She's trying to pitch a, a radio show that we could run on our channel. Fantastic. And can I, can I uh, read the, the tracks on this, or will that spoil the bit? Does uh, anyone know? Danny cut it up. All right. Well, she's uh, she's got two like bits she's actually recorded for her radio show that she wants to have on two hundred two. So wow. Okay. That well, that sounds interesting. It, is it? It sounds no. Uh, supposedly no. Supposedly, Danny, can I name the tracks? Yeah. Well, let me just make sure. Uh. Yeah. All right. The Francine radio show. We got two um, samples of what yeah. she wants to do in her show. The first track is Francine gets knocked up. Really. And Francine has her first lesbo experience. All right. Now the, now my interest has peaked a little bit. And we're going to play these two tracks in just a bit. All right. All right got to get to the Francine uh, show. The Francine yeah. show. She wants to try to do a, a couple hours on this channel. We're starting to do that, by the way. Patrice is doing his relationship show again. Mm -hmm. Big hit. This weekend, Saturday night from 8 to 10 uh, Eastern time. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think uh, I, I, we got some other things in the works, definitely. Mm-hmm. But uh, here's Francine, oh. the Francine show. A couple examples. Yeah. The first one is Francine gets knocked up. Now, uh, what the hell could this be about, aside from her being pregnant? Danny? Exactly. Oh, Jesus. Our own Francine <laughs> was knocked up? Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised that she was so open about she this She is stuff. black. All right, here we go. The Francine show. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, Fan, Fan was in for this portion, so. Oh, yeah. good. He said it. Fan sits in. Yeah. Yeah, an abortion, Francine. Well, guess what, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> I almost had to have an abortion, oh but my. I oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> instead you had a baby. <laughs> I was seventeen, and I was, I had a boyfriend, and we were having sex without condoms. Always now, smart. Eh, yeah, not the, not the greatest idea. That's the voice I think of reason. He didn't have any money, and neither did I to have to like buy any. So we just did it without it. So I got pregnant. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. And I was really scared, and I was like, I don't really know what to do, and this is terrible. But, um. There was a flight of stairs. <laughs> no, no, here's, here's the other problem, right? I didn't really know if he was the dad because I had also had sex with, like, another guy that month, right? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> But I believe he was only because they told me it was about three months that I was pregnant when I went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. He was the last guy I had. It was between two guys. So oh. I figured out it was him. Probably. So You are the father. <laughs> <laughs> so he was definitely the one that did it, right? Plus the other guy was like, oh, I'm like infertile. What's that mean? I think like Eve or something where you can't have kids. <laughs> no, infertile. What? Sterile. Sterile. He, yeah. he was like <laughs> Efertile. <laughs> 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 so um I was at the dentist. Do you think maybe um that guy might have just said he was sterile so he would never have to deal with any responsibility <laughs> with impregnating you? Well, I don't think I would have had the baby in the first place. Alright, I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt your story. <laughs> so fellas, this is what happened. Jesus. I told my girlfriends. I didn't tell my mom till like I think last year. <laughs> I was like, chickies, listen to me. Because I had three chicky friends. Chickies. I was like, I think I'm pregnant. And the like chickies at the nursing place said I'm pregnant three months. And I was like, I really can't have a baby. I don't have any money. So I figured they were like, we're all going to like pool together and give me some abortion money, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I had no money. And I was working. It's uh, $240 <laughs> down at the free clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Damone gets her pregnant. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a great impression, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. It's one of his best. I love Damone. Love Damone, man. Give him a little more. I, I don't think he's heard this. I thought we'd come by and help on you with your math homework on such a hot day. <laughs> His and his great. <laughs> what is that accent? What is that a mix of? I don't know. It's just kind of Damone. <laughs> it's fucking, just fucking Damone. It's fucking great, man. Shit. He no let us matter down, where though. you are, make like that's the place to be. <laughs> Isn't his great? <laughs> 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 I can 
can't make you happy at anything. Dude, we had him on the show. He let us down. Kiss me. He wasn't the you fun won't tomorrow. regret it. He, he, he didn't do any of it? Nah, he wasn't fun. You're uh, the assistant to the assistant manager of the movie theater. <laughs> Is that New York Jewish? Uh, I don't know something? what it is, but it's great. I love the moan. Because <laughs> I, I was like, I had no money, and I was working at Burger King, and I was like, <laughs> I was like in eleventh grade. Let's all put some money together and make over your uterus. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I had Get the, the scar <laughs> tissue removed. Yeah, and I had, I had braces, so like I was paying for my own braces at the time. So I was like, I have to How pay. How fucking hot is this? <laughs> my I was just going to say that, Danny. Like I said before, they were really bad. So, so, my, so you worked at Burger King to raise the money for the. Yeah, actually, I did. No, I didn't raise the money. I was already, I was paying off like a $3,000 braces bill. Wow. Right. Plus, I had to have oral surgery to move some teeth that were already inside my mouth. My mouth was <laughs> fucked up. So I um, could just grab the baby while he was in there. No, no I <laughs> wish I, wish I could have done that. But, um,. I'm at the dentist's office. I'm doing like a dental thingy, and I think it was a cleaning, not an orthopedic. What? Because oh that's for your God. teeth. <laughs> and orthopedic. I like felt blood coming out, Ooh. so I was like, I wonder what this is. Holy shit! <laughs> so I called shit. my girlfriend. This story gets funnier and funnier, <laughs> Francis. And she was like, I was like, listen, I got blood coming out my uh, vagina, and I'm <laughs> pregnant, so this shouldn't be my period. So she was like, well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so what I did was I was like, well, maybe I'm having my period anyway. So I jammed a tampon up my crotch. Oh, that's good. And Stop, little junior. I called another <laughs> chick. Up his brain. And she was like, oh, my God, are you crazy? Take that tampon out of your crotch and just go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom, took out the tampon, and voila, all this red shit came out. <laughs> It was the baby. <laughs> oh, my God. It came out on its own. This is fucking Give her a show. It you were covering up so much pain with that. I oh, my God. God. <laughs> and the baby came out to the toilet. <laughs> I came before. Giving out cigars to... that say, it's a blob. <laughs> <laughs> it was red oh. shit. It was nothing about. It's a lump. Big old pile of shit oh. just came out. And I was like, yay! And she's like, and the first thing is she's oh not even mine. She just goes, free abortion! <laughs> I was like, I don't need any money anymore. This is great! <laughs> Holy Oh, God. my dear sweet Jesus. All right, let me look at my uh, calendar. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the best she, thing I've ever heard. That is the happiest miscarriage story I've ever heard. Are she you didn't get a free me? abortion. Is, she had a fucking miscarriage. That is the most honest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. That is unbelievable. Think of how loved that child would have been <laughs> had it lived. <laughs> She's uh, laughing about not flushing. Not even an ounce of sadness. She's no. Like, that's like she just hit a $20 scratch ticket. Just yeah. Like, <laughs> yay! Look, I would love to uh, go to the next segment, but I have to address a few things with Francine yeah, on, let's this, get Francine on this in first here. segment. Francine, get in here because holy shit. She might have just got herself uh, a, a couple that hours is on the channel. That is new and that is fantastic. Hi, how are you Hi Francine. <laughs> how are you? You're not pregnant, are you? Oh. Not this month. Yeah, take a seat yeah, because then you're closer to the mic. Hey, oh get her on the pal camera. Yeah, turn not that around. Get that off of Bob Kelly. <laughs> get that off of Bob and turn the. Uh, you could just spin it. Don't use the mechanical thing. Yeah, here, I'll do it. Physically do it? Yeah, yeah. physically uh, turn it and get Francine on camera. There she is. You got it? I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, okay. she's right there. Good. <laughs> Francine, um, that is, is a very candid story. Thank you. That uh, no one knew that. It's a um, true story. I don't doubt it's true. It, it had too much. Uh, I don't think you could have made that up. Uh, it was when you were 17. Yeah. You got pregnant. Was it a white guy? No, actually, back then I used to date black guys. Black guys? Yeah. So uh, he did you and then uh, got you pregnant. How yeah. old was he? I think he was about 17, too. About 17. Also, uh, you, you find out you're pregnant because you skipped three periods. You yep. said you were three months pregnant. Yep. So you skipped three periods. Three months along isn't like – usually abortion is like <laughs> you miss your first period – Girl goes and checks if she's pregnant. If she is, she gets an abortion. It's really nothing there. Yeah, you it's a little, procrastinator. The cell is pretty much, you know. It's a little dot. Not, yeah, yeah it's divided a little... into a couple of pieces. Yeah. Not, you know, at three months, 
There's some arms and legs and shit going on. You can't fit it into a Petri dish. It's small. Yeah, it's small, but it's starting to form. You know what I mean? Looks like a gummy bear. Yeah, yeah, a little gummy bear. Um, so what made you wait three months? Well, I had no money. I really didn't. You Did you look into how much it was? Yeah, one of my friends had an abortion at 15, yeah. and uh, she told me it was about 250. About 250. Yeah, and she told me it was really painful, so I, I didn't want to go through all that pain she was talking about. Unlike childbirth, which is a joy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just let it ride. What were you, <laughs> what were you hoping for? Oh, my God. I got to play that. Play you know, what, what, what were you hoping would happen if you weren't going for the abortion because you couldn't afford it? You were just going to have a kid? Nah, I, I couldn't have one. So <laughs> what were you doing? Did You didn't realize, even in your mind that <laughs> that it would keep growing until it came out of you a human being and well i told my friends and they told me they'd help me with the money after what i told them probably I th- six more months <laughs> <laughs> no but i was i was really confused and i didn't know what to do and yeah. but why the joy i mean let's get right into wow that. okay I yeah mean, I, I i get it uh, this happens all the time and and then and, and teenagers and women all over the place are with your sex are like oh my god oh my god what am i gonna do do i have it do i have the abortion blah 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 but why the joy that's that's the most shocking part of the entire story because i didn't want it you didn't want it. Nope. But there was no sadness whatsoever that something was growing like you Zero. had. That's great. Did you know anything <laughs> about. a great chick. Did you know you anything you about your own body and biology and how that works? Well, like the growing of a baby and things. And that that was a miscarriage. And, and you did know this? Yep. And I walked out with a smile. <laughs> did you go to the hospital? Nope. See, after a miscarriage, any girls out there listening, (laughs) I would implore you. You're supposed to go to the hospital because the fact that you had a miscarriage means something was amiss. Yeah, you don't dry Something was wrong. You don't dry your vagina off on the hand dryer and call (laughs) it a day. (laughs) You might want to go see a doctor. Yeah, there we go. And when you see a head come out of your vagina, (laughs) you might want to go see somebody. It's not your twin. (laughs) You looked into it, into the toilet? Yep. What did you see? I saw red stuff. Now, did you see anything that looked like little oh, baby question. parts? Did it, did it get like a poker? Guys, I didn't even look. I just saw the red stuff and flushed. Did it have an afro, a little baby <laughs> afro? <laughs> no. Did it look like you? Uh, I don't know. Did it have like a, like a gold chain and a medallion? <laughs> no. A gold tooth. <laughs> no. a gold tooth. Let's go to Monty in Man- uh, Montana. Monte. Hey, fuck hey. Fest. Anyway, man, that is the most... Fucked up story I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, that is hardcore, man. Thank you are you. hardcore. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, man, I had a I would imagine man. there's people out there that almost drove off the road because they weren't expecting that. <laughs> the the got, laughter. Yeah, yeah let's hear her re- reaction uh, again to the memory. I think I got this. it queued up pretty good here. My uh, vagina. And I'm pregnant, so this shouldn't be my period. So she was like, well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so what I did was I was like, well, maybe I'm having my period anyway. So I jammed a tampon up my crotch. And I called another chick, and she was like, oh, my God, are you crazy? Take that tampon out of your crotch and just go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom, took out the tampon, and voila, all this red shit came out. (laughs) (laughs) It was the baby. (laughs) Oh, my damn. It came out. They were covering up so much pain with that. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> and the baby came out to the toilet. <laughs> that cheap boy. Giving out cigars to... that say, it's a blob. <laughs> <laughs> As a way to go, like fan. She's telling it like she's on oh. Leno, telling him a yeah. story. Like Jay. A and story. Then the... And then the craft service guy fell. <laughs> and oh, it was hysterical. But we, we, we filmed. We, we finished. Make a promo out of that. Oh, my that God. That is, yeah, promo material. You, you, <laughs> no, and can I, can I, uh, any other woman would have been at least a little bit like, hmm, this was like a part of me and my baby and, well, and you're been some laughing. Kind of emotion there. Any other show wouldn't even air this. That's what you're going to give Oh my God. <laughs> and you're like, whoopee, yay, hooray for your miscarriage. You can't fake a laugh like that. I was ecstatic <laughs> about it, guys. All right, let's go to Chris and Philly. Chris. Hey, hey, Tony Bagel. Hey, hey, uh, hey Opie, give her a show, man. Well, we don't know what the sh- what kind of show do you want to do, Francine? I don't know. I could just tell stories. 
I got a million. Story time with Francine? Yeah. yeah. We could do that. Just end them all with, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> well, Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, Chris, we got to work something out. She's uh, <laughs> definitely impressed us today. Hey, uh, uh, Danny and Nathaniel were great, too, man. Uh, yeah, definitely they were. All right, thank you, you, Chris. Doc. All right, yeah, uh, John in Utah. John, what's up? Yeah, if, if you give her a show, Sam has got to co-host it to well, keep her on track. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Than and Danny should sit in. All right, we're going to work out something with Francine, give her a couple hours. What the hell? Oh, Let's go to uh, Craig in Florida. Craig? Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey. hey I, I was so disturbed by the story. I'm coming up the Florida Turnpike. I found myself doing 20 miles an hour on the shoulder just in disgust. I couldn't <laughs> believe that. That was... That was uh, yeah. a surprise to everyone. We had no idea because we didn't listen to this uh, ahead of time. Only Than and Danny knew. And they're like, trust Amazing. us on this. This is gold. All right, let's go to Scott in Jersey. Scott, what's up? Yeah, what's up, fellas? Hey. You fucking psychotic bitch. Yeah, you guys <laughs> got to give her a show on Planned Parenthood. That's all I got to say. All right. Yeah, we got to figure out some kind of theme for your show, Francine. Now, we got a second track here called Francine Has Her First Lesbo Experience. Is this worth playing after what we just heard? This one is equally amusing, ex in, just in a different way. I mean, mm -hmm. that one was more just disgusting. This one is more hot. <laughs> but equally entertaining. Equal, all right. You want to uh, play the second? Uh... This is a little long, but she sets it up. Uh, she sets it up pretty well. You want to hear this, Anthony? It's a little long. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. God. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> she shot up. She stuck a tampon and shook her. She jumped up and down like a champagne bottle and then popped it out of her vagina. <laughs> Yay. It did hurt for like uh, 15 seconds. My tummy hurt. It did? Yeah, and I took a Tylenol and everything was okay. Oh, I was going to say, did you take a Tums and that was it, right? <laughs> <laughs> she took an acid reflux pill, a Nexium. <laughs> All right. You ready for the second story, Anthony? Um, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? Because I'm always thinking radio. We should have ended with the first story. Yeah, we didn't know. I, we didn't know. Who knew that was that? Uh... I just don't <laughs> think that this is going to have the same pop as the no, first story. No. no way. But we'll see. Let's uh, let's listen to more of Francine doing radio. So I was like, I don't see what the big deal is about eating snatch. <laughs> you should just fucking eat it. Now, here's what happened. Years and years later, I think I was like 22. Me and this chick who were hanging out <laughs> in the summertime. Now we're talking. Yeah, so the house is uh, empty and stuff like that. And um, I think she kind of gave me, like, the weird, funky feeling that she wanted to do something, right? Like, the way she was sitting and stuff like that. And we were just really good friends. Until this day, we're really good friends anyway, right? <sighs> so we're on the couch, and I kind of, like, leaned over and just kissed her. And she kissed me back. So, then uh, she she was like, well, you know, I think if we do this, we should do this right. She's like, I think I should take a shower. So, she goes <laughs> into the shower and she takes a shower, right? So, I was like, I've never done it before or anything. And I was like, this is kind of weird, but I guess I could go through with it. And plus, I think I was in one of those weird bipolar states for like a week. So, um, she comes out the shower, and um, we kissed again. And when she was naked, or was she wearing she a towel? She was naked. She came out of the shower naked, and she has a really cutesy body. Like she's, White girl, black girl? She was Good black. question. And she was really cute. She still is really cute. This was in Maryland? No, this is in New York. At, oh. Okay, okay I'm not going to say where. <laughs> so, Uptown. <laughs> the oops. <laughs> Anyways, so... <laughs> So I, I figured, I guess, I've seen enough porn to know what to do from here. <laughs> so I, I, like, gently, like, touched her breasts and stuff. And, and I tasted it. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was interesting and stuff like that. But she is, like, a go-getter. She, like, puts me on the toilet seat, like, where the cover is. Like, uh -oh. she puts on the Another, cover. Yeah. And she goes straight to the box. Nice. And she starts to eat me out, right? So I'm sitting there like, wow, I guess this is good. Unless you get a mouthful you know, of baby, I'm it's like, not going to top the next <laughs> last story, Obi. For some odd reason, I'm like, I'm not really, like, 
I was like, I, I was like, oh, I guess it's nice or whatever. So then uh, we went back to the bedroom after the snatch eating session in the bathroom. Were you making a lot of noise? Who me? Yeah. Yeah, but it was uh, it was okay. Like I was. She didn't fake. do it good enough for you. <laughs> she did it good, but I think it was fake. Here, well, here's what I think it was. I think she was a little bit more into it than I was. It's almost like you were getting molested or something like that. Uh, kind of, sort of. So, so we went back to the bedroom and we made out some more, and she ate my snack some more, and then she was like, "Aren't you gonna do me?" And, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on the bed like, I had already jammed my finger up her crotch and like did all the ooey gooey messy stuff, and I didn't really think I wanted to put my face down there, right? <laughs> Well, what was the problem hot. with her box, though? Looks like a wally. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's just that I'm used to jerking off a guy, and here I am playing with a twat. <laughs> yeah, like but, I mean, you big... have one. It's not like you don't know what to do with it. You know what feels good on you. Yeah, yeah but it was a little odd. It was the first time, and I was like, I didn't really know what first to time, do. First time? That means this happens more than once. No, 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 no. <laughs> the it was only, actually, first and only. Is Danny uh, saying that he'd suck a good cock? <laughs> Uh, using the logic, <laughs> using the logic you just used, <laughs> you had to think about that for a well, second. Oh yeah, well then in that case, <laughs> I would <laughs> maybe. <laughs> just I suck a fantastic of, uh, one. <laughs> just had to kind of bring that up. Maybe Danny right, should have uh, a show. <laughs> <laughs> right after Patrice. We all missed the line, by the way. Uh, Chester's liver had it from Whackbag.com. She skipped three periods: English, math, and science. <laughs> I must be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Show me how you suck a guy's cock. <laughs> the last time I'm going to ask you. Danny. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> show me with your mouth. <laughs> uh, back to Francine's story. This oh. happens more than No, 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 no. <laughs> the first only, time. Actually, first and only time it ever happened. Um, <coughs> so, um, I was like, I was thinking in my head, like, uh, I don't really want to go down there. Like, this is really? not my cup of tea. I, I I like it that she does it to me, and she's like staying on my snatch for like hours. But <laughs> I I don't really think I want to reciprocate. So finally I give in, and I'm like, Ugh. so she kept asking. So I was like, I guess I'll fucking eat the snatch. But I was like, there's no way I'm gonna eat it just like that. I was like, hold on, I gotta get Saran wrap and hot sauce. <laughs> oh my god! I, I I couldn't do it. It was too ooey and gooey. In so my fingers. What did you do with saran wrap? So I put the saran wrap over her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Uh, this is fantastic. All right, you let's fucking you. put saran wrap. Oh, do you know how insulting that is? All right. That you had to wrap it up like it was trout? <laughs> All right, this is what's going to happen, Francine. It's going to be story time with Francine. I hope his brain is going right oh, now. Oh, without a doubt. You you give us a list of stories you want to tell. Okay. And when, when we feel comfortable that you have enough stories to tell, you have two hours on 202, yep. baby. Because this is uh, fantastic. And Than and Danny will be sitting in to keep you on track. Yeah. Because they I, did a great job as well. Can I give a tease? I rate myself with a dildo once. Ooh. <laughs> is this chick? I've never, I've never met her in my life. But what the? F what, she's normal, right? Yeah. Like she's not like like off the street or nothing. See, uh, no. See, this is the problem now. She's That's like radio gold. So now you're gonna probably have to tell that story in a few minutes here. I know. We, after we finish with the uh, the, the, the this story. I love her. I do the story. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I did it through that. So, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my. was this after the abortion thing? Yeah, it was just, 22. Just so, you know, you're just all safe and. But here's no, no. You, here's no, 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 no. We've known each other for a really long time, and I know she's like a health fanatic. And she was fine with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you what did you said to her? I'm gonna go get some Saran wrap. Yep. And she was like, okay. Oh yeah, she's like, she didn't really want me to, but I was like, I'm not gonna. Here's the thing. I I jammed that. my fucking fingers up her crotch and it's like ooey gooey messy and And delicious. <laughs> no. Alright, this is the other thing too. <laughs> Although like I had a lot of sex in like my teenage years, right? Like after after like eighteen or nineteen, I practically stopped having sex. Right? Like I hardly ever I just do like maybe once every six months to a year I'll have sex.
since I was like around nine, probably 19 years old, right? So my snatch is like always tight and small and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh my god! And hers, she has a boyfriend, and I think this guy just goes at it like every day. So her snatch is a little bit different from mine. Mine's just the way it's supposed to be, which is what I think it is. Tight snatch. And I think hers was a little, you know. Loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. <laughs> and I didn't like the loosey goosey with the hairy hairy and all the ooey gooey. It, <laughs> it sucked. Had flaps. <laughs> and when I went down there with the fucking saran wrap, right? It, I was like, ew. I was <laughs> like, I feel for men. Open this, sesame. I was like, I've got saran wrap and I don't fucking like it. <laughs> so. It must be an atrocity for most <laughs> men to fucking get down there and be like, oh, God, I don't know what's going to be down there. <laughs> and then you Long. get, I didn't like it. I was like, this just stinks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking right. I never did it. I don't even count it, really. I'm like, eh. I, so I didn't do it. But I, I did rub her ass. <laughs> oh, she had a lovely nice. round ass. The way you're moving your hand, you twirled just, it. Just, just rubbed it. You buffed it. Yeah. <laughs> wax on, wait, wax wait, off. Because I'm still on this whole saran wrap situation. <laughs> who's, uh, by really the way, a <laughs> who's third guy in there? Uh, some, one of her friends. Gotta go. Yeah. Cannot be part of it. Yeah, he will totally not be Totally trying part of to the overtake. Story time with Francine try, radio it, show. Mr. Wants Attention Guy. It's not about him. That's right. It's about Francine. You're right, Anthony. Don't want to hear this guy trying to put in his uh, little hack jokes. Yeah, well, actually, uh, Francine told me that he's a comic. What? Well. Yeah, he's a lot more talkative on stage. Well, he's, you well, know, let God. him be talkative <laughs> on stage. <laughs> right. Because he's, he's, he's trying to make a gag every time you say something. He doesn't have to constantly be talking with every word you say. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Here's the end of the story. <laughs> you, I never you really took <laughs> a piece of saran wrap. Yes. How big a piece did you, like, <laughs> just, was, was it just enough to cover, or like was it like thigh to thigh? Good question. Uh, it was... It was uh, uh just it was probably about this big, so it was probably enough to go thigh to thigh. Cause I'm not, I'm telling you, the way I was feeling it, I was like, there's no way my mouth <laughs> is going down there. Fuck it, and I don't care what she says or what she does, I don't want to do it. I think this is, it's a good idea, cause I wanted the experience of being with a chick, and it was nice, and I was in my weird little state, and I think it was a good experience, but I'll probably never do it again. There it is. Wow. What's that is amazing. C can I tell what uh, another addition to that story? Okay. Yeah. All right. After that incident, she actually came over to my house out when my mom was away. And uh, <laughs> she brought her boyfriend because she kind of, I told you, uh -oh. she's really, really into this thing. So uh, she was like, my boyfriend wants to see us fuck. So I was like, didn't you just get it? I just, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, I brought out Saran Wrap for God's sake. <laughs> Did you put Not a, a hint? A Ziploc on his cock? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, her boyfriend, uh, he was all right. So I went to the bathroom. I came back to the living room, and they were fucking in my living room. The nerve. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> right in your, your living room. Right in the living room. And what did you do? I was like, could you guys take that to the bedroom? So... They went to the bedroom. They were probably thinking, yeah, we're all going to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so they went to the bedroom, and uh, I stayed in the living room because I didn't want to join. And I watched TV, and I called my boyfriend. And uh, she came out in the living room in her towel, and she was like, aren't you going to join us? And I was like, no. <laughs> oh. So she had to go back. You ready? Oh, wow. That must have been an awkward thing. That's a little the awkward. Bedroom. And they're like, Ugh. is she coming? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's out of saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the store. Maybe <laughs> got tin foil. She, maybe she went to White Hen. <laughs> Wax paper. That's all you have is like a blue tarp from over the pool. <laughs> you guys, we might have the line of the show from Adam in right. Nebraska. We're trying to find a name for Francine's uh, radio show that she's going to do soon on 202. Adam. What's up? Hey. I got one. All right. Tissue time from the hood. Yeah, tissue, <laughs> tissue time. Everybody Human likes, tissue. Yeah, everybody likes whacking off to a good miscarriage story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> miscarriage with braces. Thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just a picture of you, all young, with your braces on, miscarrying into a toilet bowl. But cackling. And yeah. laughing about it. And flushing. <laughs> and flushing it down. Bye-bye, oh. Junior. Oh, Boy God. or girl, did you look? Is there a little peenie floating uh, in the mess? It was just red stuff. Yeah. Yeah.
like liver. Like lava. Where's the CD? Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> we're going to go. Ugh. You know, this is crazy, but we're going to play it a third time. <laughs> this is disgusting. Got to hear her description. She it's said a liver came out of my vagina. <laughs> this is so uh, perfect. It's not the whole story. It's the, it's, it's the last minute. Pretty much right before the big punchline. We'll go to break with this and continue with Francine and Bob Kelly. Bob, we uh, promoting anything today? Uh, Torgasm, HBO. Get the fuck. Yeah, nine, we're going to be a nine-episode series on HBO. Maybe e- either after The Sopranos or after Jimmy's show. Holy shit. Congratulations, man. Thanks, buddy. Can we, uh, can we, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Can we play this real low in the background? Yeah, of course. <laughs> turn turn this down a little so it's low. Yeah. Happy music. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. We'll go to break with this once again. Story gets funnier and funnier. <laughs> for a and she was like, "I was like, listen, I got blood coming out my uh, vagina, and I'm pregnant, so this shouldn't be my period." So she was like, "Well, I don't know what to do." <laughs> so what I did was, I was like, "Well, maybe I'm having my period anyway." So I jammed a tampon up my crotch, and I called another chick, and she was like, "Oh my God, are you crazy? Take that tampon out of your crotch." And just go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom, took out the tampon, and voila! All this red shit came out. <laughs> it was the baby. <laughs> oh my damn. It came out on its own. <laughs> oh man. It you were covering a... up so much pain with that I oh my God. <laughs> And the baby came out to the toilet. <laughs> Giving out cigars that say it's a blob. <laughs> hey, let's go to bitching. Let's go to Bo in Jersey. Bo, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, while you get, while Francine was doing this story, uh, my mom was on the phone with me, and she heard the overheard the whole thing, and she laughed harder than Francine did at the story. I thought it was funny as hell. Only right. child, are you? No one saw that coming. That's the beauty of that one. Ty in Texas, what's up? Hey, uh, I have an uh, an idea for Fran's show. Okay. It should be Fran, Than, and Dan show. Fran, Dan, and Than. I don't know about That's that fantastic. No, Than wants it to be Fran, Than, and Dan. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you want? <laughs> Fran, <laughs> Than, and Dan <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, Cody in Indiana. Cody. Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, another idea for the show that hopefully doesn't stink. Uh... Big Bloody Mess is the name of the show, and other bedtime stories of Francine. <laughs> Big Bloody Mess and other bedtime stories. Well, as yeah. soon as Francine has a list of stories that we think will be good, I would, I would flush it if you got them. It'll be story time with Francine. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nothing. Someone is suggesting after each one of her stories, she yells out, The Aristocrats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Don from Jersey. Don Catlow. <laughs> Very good. Good idea. Should uh, mm-hmm. we're running out of sh- uh, how how long is the uh, the that story the you teased dildo thing? The dildo story is not that long. Oh. All right, why don't you tell us a little bit about the yeah, dildo? Yeah, but know what story. I'm thinking? What? What if she does it live at the Hard Rock tomorrow in front of an audience? Oh, okay. Hey, that'd be nice. Could you pull that off? You think or no? What? Be well, honest. Be, oh, well, honestly, look, uh, I'm really. I actually have like a job, job. Like, oh, you can't be there tomorrow. Yeah, All right, like tell I the work story now. Then. Damn it. Sorry, right, I would come, though. I really would. Yeah. All right, tell the story, then. All right, what happened with the uh, dildo? Well, here's the dildo story. Uh, I hadn't had sex in Wait, what's the title of the story? Of Really Desperate. <laughs> really Desperate. Okay. <laughs> Signed, Really Desperate. What, what is it What is this, What is is it about? You said what it was about again. Can you tell me? Well, you, I, I had... Dildo story. You raped yourself with a dildo? I raped myself with a dildo. All right. That's it. Uh, it, it was about a year and a half since uh, I had had sex. And I asked one of my girlfriends what I should do because I really wanted to do it. She was like, well, you know, why don't you get a dildo? So I was like, oh, that sounds good. So I went down to the dildo store. <laughs> the dildo There's store. There's a dildo store? Yeah. Where is <laughs> yeah. that? Do you have music for that? Do, 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 do. Dildos are us. Dildos are us. <laughs> dildos are us. <laughs> have... Babes are us, I think. Babes are us? I think so. <laughs> Sex toys are us. So, yeah, just yeah. Just walking down to the dildo store. Just, just had an abortion. <laughs> I'm going to go, go beat myself up with a sword-handed dildo. Yeah. So, so you went to the dildo store. Nope. And uh, I went dildo shopping. Now, how was that? How did you choose? What was the criteria for the dildo? Criteria for the dildo was uh, big and thick. That's pretty you much You wanted it. it big and thick. Well, at least normal size big and thick. And yeah. what color? 
Well, I got I got a clear one to tell you the clear. truth. Clear. Yes. Oh, I awful. got a clear dildo. So mm-hmm. you want to have sex with a ghost? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, not that I want to. You can have... see the little hand and the little leg attached to the dildo. <laughs> where, uh, well, it's like getting a black car in nothing. Okay, good. All right. Were there <laughs> uh, were there <laughs> were there any people in the store? There was a lot of people in the really? store. Really shopping? Actually. Yeah, they're all dildo shopping. More guys or girls or mix or? It was more girls than guys. Wow. And there were books and videos. All and kinds of fun stuff. All... And behind the counter, guy or girl? Uh, chicks. They chicks. all look like yeah. lesbians. Yeah, they are. And then so you 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 saran you wrap on the out. vaginas? Is that how you knew? Hmm? Do they have saran wrap on the vagina? Is that how you knew they were lesbians? Um, no. <laughs> saran wrap. So you bought your dildo? No, no. First I had oh. to pick a size of the dildo. Oh. So I looked at all the dildos on the table, and the lady told me, she's like, if you've never used a dildo, you should probably take this one as a starter. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was probably about, f- f- let's say, four or five inches. Oh. And I looked at it and said, eh, I think I could do a little bigger. Yeah. So, uh, man up. I bought a. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Anthony. Yeah. I manned up. Mm-hmm. And I got this, uh, probably about seven or eight inch dildo. It was probably about three or four inches thick. And I thought mm-hmm. it was perfect. Hey. So I got the batteries. Did you say four inches thick? Like, I don't know. What is that? Four inches is this big, sweetie. Oh, that's really big. Well, yeah. in diameter. Like, maybe yeah, circumference. Cir- yeah, then you got to make a circle out of it, Bob. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thanks, you, made, you made it sound like it was four inches across. Yeah, like a square. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Put this in your vagina. <laughs> Make the perfect <laughs> fucking circle, you ass. It Makes it a little small. It's like an IQ test. It, it doesn't fit. <laughs> Jesus. You have a round hole. <laughs> All right. Let's go. We're running out of show. So you, uh, you, you got the dildo. Yeah. So I got the dildo, and I got the batteries, and I took it home with me. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and the lady had given me, like, these little cream thingies to make it easier for the... Lubrication. Pe- yeah, penetration. Yeah. Right. The lubrication stuff. So I got home. Uh, How'd so you set the mood or set up your, your room or yourself? What did you do? Well, I put on classical music. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why <laughs> classical music? You A little classical music. What yeah. classical music do you know or have? Um, well, actually, besides you guys... I listen to you guys all day and all night. Uh, when I go to sleep, actually, I put on, uh, I think it's that station with a lot of news in the morning. All and right. then at night, it turns into... Classical. Yeah. Really? It's a, that awful station, NPR. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> National right. Public so, Radio. So you got the classical music cranking. Classical music is playing. You got yeah. the dildo by your side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, I thought I was ready for this dildo. I didn't think it was... Uh, too small or too big or anything. No, you unwrap the whole thing, and then you you're kind of you, you took all your clothes off. Yep. So you're naked, you're nude, laying on your bed. Yeah. Now are you getting a little excited at the prospect? Actually, I was very excited. I hadn't had sex in like a year and a half. I was really looking forward to this. Yeah. So um. <laughs> so I, I took the lubrication and I rubbed it out around my vagina. Yeah. Because I thought that's what you should do. Sure. And um, I took the dildo. Mm-hmm. And um, I tried to jam it up my crotch. Uh-huh. Yeah, tried to jam it up my crotch. It would not go in. Why? Because it was too big. Yeah, well, and she hadn't had sex in a year and a half, so. So her vagina shrunk. Probably. Probably. Sure. Vagina now, had shrunk enormously. Was it jamming from lack of lubrication or just pure size difference? Pure size difference. You couldn't, couldn't stretch? stretch? It wasn't stretching. Not very well, at least. Gee. Should have got a so. hammer. <laughs> Knock it in. Take a few whacks at it with a lump hammer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> or oh. a mallet from that. <laughs> like a cartoon. <laughs> fump, fump, fump. <laughs> a mallet from, what is it called? Lawn bowling, whatever? The, the mallet game? Croquet. 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 A little you. croquet. <laughs> okay. <I> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So you try it now. You're a little disappointed? Well, but I'm not going to give up because I refuse not to have sex in Very that long. Good. I should at least have a mm-hmm. fake penis go yeah. inside. Okay. So I slowly but surely try to jam this penis clear thing up my crotch, and it's hurting a little bit. And uh, it's hurting a lot, actually, because it's not really going in properly. Were your eyes actually pushing out of your head? Yeah, it was actually, yeah, it was painful. Mm-hmm. So I laid there in my bed, and I was uh, feeling a little down about it. Yeah. And uh, slowly but surely, I got it in. But by the time I got it in, I felt like uh, I was taking advantage of myself. 
And it was vibrating at the same time because it oh. was one of those vibrating dildos. Right. So I got this noise going, the the vibrating noise, and it's uh, hurting. That's, so that's how I rate myself with a dildo. Oh, oh, because uh, it was a lot of pain. Were you bleeding or chafed afterwards? No, I wasn't bleeding afterwards, but I did feel like taking advantage of See, I thought it was going <laughs> to end with her not being able to get it up there, so she rolled over and jammed it up her ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you took advantage of yourself. Yes. Yeah. Do you you felt left? like you would rape yourself. Because Did you have a dull so blade on your own neck when you were doing this? Did I what? Nothing. <laughs> Did you steal your ATM card and take out some money <laughs> later? No, I, I didn't. But I did do it like, I probably did it for about three months. I raped myself because I refused to give up. Good girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I raped myself uh, probably about once or twice a week for three months. And then I threw it away because I realized it was just too Hurting much. your kid- kidneys? <laughs> 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 All right, let's, uh, let's hear it for Francine. Francine, Thanks. wonderful. You gave us a hell of an hour. Story time with Francine coming to high voltage Thank sometime you. soon. Uh, let's go to the phones and say hi to Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Yeah, I want to play what I learned on the show today. All right. What I learned was when you're having a uh, miscarriage, you hand out a cigar saying it's a blob. <laughs> Very mm-hmm. good line from Than. Let's go to Bad Cell Guy from Whack Bag. Hey, what's up, guys? I finally learned, Francine, you are radio gold, sweetheart. I cannot wait to listen to the show. All right, Mm -hmm. good. Story time with Francine coming soon. Let's say hi to Holly in North Carolina. Holly. Hey, you guys are great. And Francine fucking rocks. And if you replay the part where she's talking about her miscarriage, she sounds like the crazy psycho bitch from uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. A little bit, a little bit. hysterical. All right. Thank you, Holly. Thanks. Thank you. Let's go to Zach in Connecticut. Zach. Hey, Owen, what's going on? Hey, man. Oh, man, I'm trying to study for my firefighter's exam. She's giving me a full rod, man. I can't <laughs> wait for her show to come on. All right, right on. Josh in Arkansas. Josh. What's up, fellas? Hey. I learned that when uh, any young, young ladies out there need a miscarriage, just go to a dentist for some orthopedic surgery. That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> there. Hey, Bob uh, Kelly, great. what are we promoting today, man? Hey, HBO Torgasm coming out in uh, May. And you're going to be at the Hard Rock tomorrow? I'm uh, going we'll to be at the Hard Rock tomorrow, yeah. yeah Live tomorrow. broadcast. We rarely do this, so uh, hopefully we'll see a lot of familiar faces tomorrow. Oh. I would get there early because it looks like Not a lot of people are going to be there. What, Francine? I'm going to be at the Village Mall tonight. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs>